Welcome to the channel 412 News. My name is Abby Lynn. My name is Peyton Nichol. Today is April 12, 1861. We have breaking news about Fort Sumter. Early today, around 4.30 a.m., Confederate forces started shooting at the fort. Union forces did not return fire until almost 7 in the morning. The fort has already caught on fire, and Union forces are in desperate need of supplies and backup. It's okay. I know it's really, really emotional right now for you and your family. <clears throat> when South Carolina seceded from the Union, Major Anderson took over Fort Sumner from Carolina militia. Now it seems that South Carolina is going to take back the fort, or what's left of it. Let's go to John Watts, our field reporter, to interview some of the soldiers. Here we are at the first day of the Battle of Fort Sumner. We are on the Confederate side. Yeah, the Confederate side. As you can see, there is a Confederate stalking and praying and shooting at the fort from now. Here we are with one of the Confederate soldiers. How is the battle today? It's doing pretty good. Anything else you'd like to add to that? Well, we're gonna win this war. And we're gonna keep our slaves. How do you think the uh, Confederate side is doing compared to the Yankee side? So far, got them on the run. You know, just gonna dwindle down their supplies and make them surrender to us. Get our fort back. Seems like a legit plan you have there. How many have you killed so far? Well, as a head count, none. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Jonna. Now to the weather with Lady Jaja. It got rain. Thanks, Lady Jaja. Now it looks like we're out of time. Join us soon for more information on Fort Sumter. Are you tired of a boring mustache that doesn't do anything? Yes. We introduce you to the giant stash. It can hold a cup. You can change the shape of it just like that. Do you have that date you just don't want to go to? It can be used as a unibrow. For five payments of $19.99 plus shipping and handling, this can be yours. I love mustaches. <laughs> Welcome to Channel 412 News. I'm Peyton Nichol. And I'm Abby Lynn. Today is April 13th, 1861. Today is the second day of the battle raging on at Fort Sumter. Here's a map of the area. Next, let's go to John and Watts out in the field to see how the Union soldiers are doing. I am doing. here on the island of Fort Sumter, as you, where the Union troops are running low on supplies. As you can see, the lone Union soldier is eating grass and walking around. This is day two of the battle. Can you, day two of the battle here, and the fort has already burned down at least twice. Here we are with a Union soldier. How's the war today? Not good. That's disappointing. Um, can you tell us how the Union side looks to be doing compared to the Confederate side? Well, we've just been locked up. We haven't been able to really do anything. And we're running low on supplies. What kind of supplies? Uh, ammo, food, water. Much necessities. Sorry to hear that. Um, can you please explain to me what your plan is, if there is one? Wing it. Wing it. Seems like a legitimate plan. <laughs> I've heard a rumor, and I would be pleased if you confirmed it for me. The rumor is that the fort, the fort was first attacked by. Confederate soldiers at around 4 o'clock in the morning. And I heard that you guys did not return fire until around sunset. Sun. Rice. Rice. Is this true? Yes. Can you please explain to me why you will not return the fire until sunrise? Because of lack of ammo? Thank you. This. <coughs> This has been Jonna Watts. Back to you. Thanks for the intel, Jonna.
The Confederates are relentless in their fight to win Fort Sumter. It's becoming clear who's going to win this battle. This just in. There's a supply ship heading straight towards Fort Sumter. The ship cannot reach the fort because of rapid gunfire. The fort has caught fire again. This time in the armory, the Union supply of ammunition has diminished completely. Doesn't look so good for Union troops, although there haven't been any casualties. Coming in, there's been a white flag seen on Fort Sumter. The Confederacy has won. We'll be back after these short messages. Are pumpkin spice lattes out of season at Starbucks? Did your friends go to the mall without you? Have we got a solution for you? White girl ice cream. Mmm. White girl ice cream just makes me so happy. Forget the friends who forgot about me. I got my white girl ice cream. So good you won't leave a single bite in the bowl. White Girl Ice Cream, sold at your local grocery store. Prices may vary. It can hold a cup! Fender <laughs> <laughs> just sat there and bombed them. They weren't running to the lower side or anything. So there has been no cap. Casualties. <laughs> There's been no cat casualties. <laughs> casualties. Say it like a normal person. Casualties. Okay. So there has not. So there has been no casual casualties. Look towards me. Focus. Okay. Are they out of? S no, that's not it. Thanks, Jonna. Now to Lady Jaja for the weather. Thank you, Lady Jaja. Now. What are we doing now? <laughs> hey, what, what's the rest of the schedule for today? Um, well, we went over all the breaking news, so I guess that's it. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Come back tomorrow for the rest of it. Go to our website for some really cute puppy videos. Link below.